everyone this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so here we are going to reduce the given equation to linear equation in standard form so let's get going problem solve x square into dy by dx equals to 3x square minus 2xy plus 1 solution given differential equation x square into dy by dx equals to 3x square minus 2xy plus 1. So here we have to reduce the given differential equation to standard form of linear equation. We know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, right? So here, if you notice, you're having the quotient of dy by dx is 1, right? So we have to make this quotient of dy by dx to 1. In order to make the quotient of dy by dx to 1, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the whole equation with this x squared. Right, so the given equation is 1, then dy by dx equals to 3x square minus 2xy plus 1 by simply take this x square to RHS and you'll get RHS part by x square or you can just divide the whole equation with x square see x square into dy by dx by x square equals to 3x square minus 2xy plus 1 by x square here x square gets cancelled from LHS, then you'll get dy by dx equals to 3x square minus 2xy plus 1 by x square, right? We'll always write directly like this. Fine. Then dy by dx equals to, if you notice, in the numerator you're having three terms, 1, 2, 3. And in the denominator we are having one term, so we can split this into three terms. 3x square by x square minus 2xy by x square plus 1 by x square so here x square gets cancelled and here 1x gets cancelled then we'll get dy by dx equals to 3 minus 2y by x plus 1 by x squared. So now, we'll bring the term involving x to LHS, then we'll get dy by dx minus 2y by x becomes plus 2y by x equals to remaining parts, 3 plus 1 by x square that is remaining terms 3 plus 1 plus 1 by x square not 1 plus right again you can write the above as dy by dx plus 2 by x into y equals to 3 plus 1 by x square right which is linear in y see the patient of dy by dx is 1 so if you compare these two, we'll get P and Q, where P equals to 2 by X and Q equals to 3 plus 1 by X squared, right? So here P and Q are the functions of X. Now we need to find the integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of a linear equation in y is given by if equals to e bar integral t dx. I'm using this formula, we'll find the integrating factor to the given equation.
integrating factor equals to u power integral p dx for p equals to 2 by x into dx so let's write the constant 2 outside the integral you'll get e power 2 integral 1 by x into dx is equals to e power 2 integral 1 by x dx is log mod x again you can write this as e power 2 log x we know that m log n can be written as log n power m so you will using this we can write 2 log x as log x square and also we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x then from this we will get function of x that is x square right e power log function of x equals to function of x so here our integrating factor is x square now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y times integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. Now using this formula We'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y times integrating factor that is x square equals to integral q for q equals to 3 plus 1 by x square into integrating factor x square into dx plus c. Right, z equals to integral. Now multiply these two terms by x square, then we'll get 3x square plus 1 by x square into x square into dx plus c. So here x square gets cancelled, then we'll get integral 3x square plus 1 into dx plus c. So you can write this as integral 3x square dx plus integral 1 dx plus c is equal to. Now we can write the constants outside the integral. If you have any constants, 3 integral x square dx plus integral 1 dx is integral dx plus c is equal to 3 into integral x square dx is x cubed by 3 plus integral dx is x plus c. So here 3 gets cancelled from the first term. Finally we will get x cubed plus x plus c. Now we have y into x cubed equals to sorry x square equals to x cubed plus x plus c. Now let's take this x square to RHS, then we'll get y equals to x cubed plus x plus c by x square. If you notice, we are having three terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can split this into two ter three terms. Sorry, x cubed by x square plus x by x square plus c by x square. So here, two terms gets cancelled. That is, two x gets cancelled. Then we'll get x plus. We can just write this as x into 1 by x squared, right? Plus c into 1 by x squared. We know that 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n. Then, you can write 1 by x squared as x power minus 2. So, we have x into x power minus 2 plus c into x power minus 2, right? In the second term, you're having x into x power minus 2 here the base are equal so let's add the powers then we'll get x power 1 minus 2 equals to x power minus sorry 1 minus 2 is minus 1 then we can replace x into x power minus 2 by x inverse so this becomes x plus x inverse plus c into x power 
minus 2. Therefore, y plus 2, cx power minus 2 plus x plus x power minus 1 is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video until then. Bye-bye.